Hey, welcome back. It's Core Wednesday, and we're gonna do lower abs. Everything that is inside this pouch, glove handles, the roll bun fun um, tire that you have around your belly, but that you might not, but I do. Uh, this is not to burn that off because you can't uh, target uh, body fat. So if you're trying to do that, good luck. If you do that, call a scientist and say, hey, I finally discovered the, the proper way of uh, targeting uh, body fat uh, reduction. And you're gonna get a price. So if you do it, go for it. This is lower abs. We're gonna start from this tabletop position. We're gonna go lift, down, hold it, bring it back up, and then again, right down, and bring it back up. Now, while we'll doing this exercise, all we need to think about bringing your core, your abs, everything more towards your body. So I want to see this happening. So you're arching your back and you're just plowing your abdominals to expand. I need to think of bringing ribs down, uh, keeping your core tight. From here, from an already contracted position, you bring one leg down. You start feeling the shakes. You feel the shakes, and then bring it back up. From here, you think you're done, but you have one half rep to go, because it's left and right, that is just one rep. That is just one. Do 10, 15 of those uh, before your next exercise. Exercise number two. We're instead of doing a crunch this way, so bringing your chest down to your legs, we're gonna do the opposite. We're gonna bring the legs to your chest. So you can bring your hands down from here, and bring everything up and down, up and down. So you're flexing, not only, you're not doing just hip flexion, but this is hip flexion where you just, just move your legs up and down. You can do this all day and you wouldn't get tired. You wouldn't get the, the activation of your abs that you want. I want you to think about doing uh, the movement from the hip. So the hip is coming up. You should be able to feel it. So instead of doing this, when is your upper body coming down to the center when we're bringing the legs up. Another cue is to Feel how your bum goes, well, takes off from the floor, right? So right there. So do this, and if you can, slow it down. Again, I'm shaking because I've done this already a million times in the morning. Our third exercise, old, friendly, wholesome, uh, infinity circles. I think that's what I called them before, I can't remember. But you have your hands behind your bum, or you can just have them close by, or no hands at all. This is the hardest one because you have to um, control your balance. So from here, you extend your legs, and you do an infinity. So for this one, this one is easy, right, if you have your hands there. It gets harder once you start contracting, you come up on this position right here, so you're not completely off the floor, you can, but as soon as you activate your core from here, from this position, you bring your legs up, and you go full range of motion to the sides. So from here, I'm gonna show you so this is behind the bum, this is the begin. So you have your head down on the floor and you're just controlling the infinity circle. And if you want to take it to the next step, I feel like I'm giving birth. So from uh, uh, this position, you have your hands to the side and you go full on 
left and right while doing that infinity and doing that crunch that I was talking about. Woo. Last exercise. For this last exercise, we're gonna focus on stability. So, you come down to your plank, you have a nice straight body. From here, you're just gonna lift one leg up. I don't want you to lift it like way high up. I just want you to lift one leg, hold it, and then up, hold it, down. These are just marches. So the, the, the key component is to not allow your body to rock, meaning if you lift one leg, your hip is gonna rock, right? So you're gonna give in. The key is to just have a nice, stable core while you're working, relaxing, resting. That'll be the four exercises for Core Wednesday today. I'll try to keep up with more videos. Uh, they're coming soon. But meanwhile, keep dancing, have a great workout, and I'll see you in the next video.